Now, and are you talking about stamp stuff? They're going up yes. in price, aren't they? Yes, it? good morning to you both. So much response about the stamp story. It's unbelievable. Some people who really don't care, but a lot of people who are really angry about this. Let me just give you the details first of all. Good morning, everyone. Yes, a first-class stamp will go up from 46 pence to 60 pence, and a second-class stamp will go up from 36 pence to 50 pence. And this will all happen on the 30th of April. And it's seen as a move that will push the state-owned organisation down the road of privatising. But what impact will it have on consumers and businesses? And is it justified? Here is how some of you reacted to the news. I think I'll be sending for your letters. I like sending letters, it's a shame. Gosh, was it value for money? I'm not sure. I think it's disgusting. Oh, great, that's nice. That's another, another pound out of our pocket. Wow! 60p? You serious? Oh, I think I'll get a, a, a bird and get him to carry my messages. Well, I don't really buy stamps, I just email people. Well, joining me now is Sharon Little, who's Chief Executive of the Greeting Card Association. Good morning to you. Now, we've had a lot of response about this. A lot of people saying they're going to send fewer Christmas cards and do things more by email. That must be a worry for your business. It is a bit of a worry, absolutely. I think that people will start sending fewer Christmas cards, but I think Christmas cards, again, are a, are a fantastic way for people to stay in touch at a distance over Christmas time and to let their relations know that they care about them when they is don't it, see them. Is it something you're worried about, though? Because there are some people who are saying, well, actually, the cost of posting it, it's going to cost me more than the card itself. It looks like it may well be, yes. 50p is a big hike um, for second-class stamps. Um, we do welcome the scheme, though, that Royal Mail has, is putting in place for people on fixed incomes um, to buy uh, books of cheaper stamps uh, before Christmas, but we're also urging Royal Mail to extend this to all senior citizens. Do you think they're doing the right thing, then, Royal Mail, by putting this increase in? They have to underpin their business. They've seen huge drops in mail volumes. So, um, also, we're used to having a reliable, affordable, universal post in this country. Mm. And we, we, it's, it's easy to bash Royal Mail, but they do do a fantastic job. And you can post something at one end of the country and receive it at the other end the next day, 90% sure of that. It will hit some small businesses quite hard as well. We've had uh, one person who tweeted me, uh, Jane, saying, I'm a small mail order company. If I put my prices up by 30%, I'd have no business. That's the other side of this. Surely for your smaller members, it's going to be really difficult for them. Franked prices aren't actually going up by very much. So um, for, for businesses, I think they're not going to find such, such a big effect. We're seeing more people now use um, e-cards and do things more online. Are you moving more towards that in your industry? Is it, are we going to see the death of the Christmas cards in the future, We're do you think? about the variety of moon pig and funky pigeon, this type of thing. We don't see these as e-cards. These are real cards that are received by, you know, through the letterbox. No, so. but I mean more the email cards where you get, you know, an animation people or something. People hate those. Do they? Well, yes, they a lot do. of people send them. They, well, you can't put them on the mantelpiece, can you? Um, and they're seen as a, as a, a short-term, instant um, fix, whereas a greeting card is something that you actually take a little bit of time about finding the right card But the they right must person. have had a bit of a hit on your industry. I mean, how is your sector doing at the moment? Um, we've seen actually a small increase in everyday cards, so that's birthday, um, wedding, anniversary. People really love sending cards. In fact, we're the number one card-sending nation. We send more cards per head than any other country, and we average around 31 cards each. Okay. So we we hold cards deep to our hearts. You would say that, though, Sharon, wouldn't you? I love cards. Really? I would be doing well, my job if I didn't. Yeah, you would say that, Sharon. No, thanks for your time this Thank morning. You. Just a couple of uh, emails on this. Uh, people saying they're going to send fewer Christmas cards, saying they'll try and send more by email. Dave is saying he can't believe how much it's gone up by when we only have one delivery a day. Uh, a small business saying, do they want us to post less? We'll now send our invoices by email. But other people saying, well, for a service you're getting next day delivery, I think it's worth it. So some mixed opinion there. When's the price going up? The price is going up on the 30th of April. Right, so if you, you can run out now and buy loads and loads of first-class yes. stamps and get Which it at the old price. Which is what a lot of people are doing, actually. Yes. Someone did message me saying they were going out to buy 50 stamps and that will be their Christmas cards sorted. All right, good idea. All right, thanks very much. Run on idea. the stamps, you might will see. The queues in the post office <laughs> are <laughs> mental. <laughs> no, no, we have to leave. Uh, thank you very much, Steph. Uh, 742.